Beer consumption in the U.S. is expected to be sluggish Beer this year. Beer sales have fallen seven Beer sales years. have been drying up in recent years. After nearly 40 years, the Miller Coors Brewery in Eden is shutting its doors for good. Shutting its shutting doors, its doors, for, doors good. for good. For good. What would you do if I told you you could save the world by drinking beer? It sounds crazy, but it's true. Last week a new fuel source was revealed, which comes from the ethanol created during the beer brewing process. Brutroleum. It's a biofuel made from yeast and grain that's left over after they finish making beer. What we can see is it's, it hasn't been done anywhere else in the world. They are recruiting guys. They are actually recruiting guys to drink more beer for the planet. <laughs> what a job. Drink a beer and save the world. Bill, yeah, that, that's every man's dream. Brutroleum. 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 DV Breweries has created 300,000 litres of what they're calling Brutroleum. Brutroleum emits 8% less carbon than traditional petroleum. That's half a million tonnes of carbon you're saving from going into the environment. The supply? Well, it relies entirely on you drinking beer. People can't seem to get enough of it. The brewery that came up with the idea is known as DV Export. It's selling its Brutroleum at 60 filling stations across New Zealand. Heineken has got massive global footprint in breweries. Now 50 of the biggest breweries want to take part in this. So next year we're rolling it out on a global scale. Sorry babe, can't go to your sister's house. Me and the boys got to drink some beer. Brutroleum is saving the planet. Where are you going? To save the world. What time are you going to be back? Uh, about nine. Text you if I'm going to be late.